Dick, I remember um, you mentioned yesterday that you follow Hanfiya School of Thought. Um, could you give an example where Quran and Sayyid Hadith are not clear and thus we are bound to follow an opinion from a particular school of thought? Well, I think you're misquoting me. Let me explain again. Allah has blessed me, like many others. My children are even studying different madhahib in Al-Azhar, in Medina, and so on, different madhahib. So what I focus on its study for years, more than seven years, was the Hanafi madhahib. But to say, I follow the Hanafi madhahib, you're misquoting me. I follow Imam Abu Hanifa in certain opinions, which I believe he is more correct in this view than even the vast majority of the fuqha. Particularly yesterday, I said, I follow Imam Abu Hanifa in this view with regards to giving zakah on women's jewelry. I even mentioned that I pay zakah on behalf of my mother and on behalf of my uh, wife's jewelry. I'm in a charge, okay? So I pay zakah. I'm not following the opinion of Malik or Shafi'i or Ahmed in this regard. And I explained it thoroughly. I said, Allah has given us, so I would like to give a little bit. I said, I follow the opinion of the Hanafi Madhab in this particular mas'ala. There are many other things which I would follow Imam Shafi'i. Or I would follow Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Or I would follow Imam Malik. Not necessarily follow, following one imam all the time, even if I recognize that his reference happened to be weak or not authentic. Or their opinion is outvoted uh, by the rest of the scholars. You understand? So I just wanted to correct this misunderstanding. Because I'm not sitting in this place to give only the fatwa according to the Hanafi madhab. No. Basically, when you ask a question, then I circulate it in my mind and I look into the different uh, opinions and views. I will give you what I believe is most authentic, supported by an evidence. Then when you say, what about other madhahib? If you want further clarification, I will be more than happy. Again, like the issue of niqab, the face veil for women. Like the issue of uh, zakah on women's jewelry and many other things. You will find some episodes which I spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes explaining the difference. Like fasting the six wide days of Shawwal first or making up or making up the missed days of Ramadan first. I follow Imam Abu Hanifa 100% in this regard. You want to know why? You will find very prominent scholars, including Sheikh Ibn Baz, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, may Allah have mercy on his soul. Many muftis who say that, no, you have to make up the missed days first, then fast the six days of Shawwal. Okay, that's fine, but it gives a lot of hardship to our sisters who miss 10 days, 8 days, 9 days. So I would require them to make up all those missed days, then fast another six days. Maybe it will end up fasting 17, 18 days. But is it required? No, it is not required. This is the opinion of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal, and it is based on a hadith which is not a hadith. They quoted the Prophet ﷺ in a hadith that it is not permissible to fast, voluntary fasting before making up the missed days. Verifying this hadith, it's invalid. This is not a hadith. So according to Abu Hanifa wa Malik wa Shafi'i, it is al-Jumhur, the vast majority. It is perfectly legal and permissible to begin by fasting the six days of Shawwal. Then you still have until next Ramadan to make up the missed days. As Aisha radiallahu anha used to do, she used to make up the missed days that she missed due to the menses in Sha'ban of the following year one month before Ramadan. Do you think Aisha would miss the six days of Shawwal? No. So I have an access to study this and I was educated this way and I have my shiuch and I have several degrees. So I am different than a layman. My students are uh, different than the layman. 
they can conclude, they can give you a fatwa. The imam of your local masjid gives you a fatwa, you act upon it. I just wanted to clarify what you said about that you said you're only following the Hanafi madhab. Got it?